one of the most conservative options to treat disc-related pain due to disc bulging and or degeneration is epidural steroid injections. The epidural space is the medical term for the space surrounding the spinal cord. Placing anti-inflammatory steroids into the epidural space helps reduce inflammation and reduces the size of a bulging disc. This in turn reduces pressure on the nerve root, which reduces the pain, weakness, and numbness often associated with disc-related problems. When the patient presents with symptoms of pain radiating from the low back into one lower extremity or has had previous back surgery with probable scar tissue formation, a transforaminal fluoroscopically guided approach is often more successful than a translaminar approach. The transforaminal approach requires fluoroscopic guidance to assist in the precise placement of the steroid solution onto the effective nerve roots. The patient is brought to the fluoroscopy room and asked to lie on their stomach. After identification of the effective nerve root level, these areas are marked and then cleaned. After identification of the appropriate area, Novocaine is used to numb the skin and deeper tissue in preparation for epidural needle placement. The Novocaine typically causes a burning discomfort similar to that experienced during dental procedures. An epidural needle is then placed into the appropriate position with the assistance of a fluoroscope, a type of x-ray machine. The fluoroscope assists the physician to precisely place the epidural needle on the affected nerve root. Once the epidural needle is in place, a small amount of contrast dye is injected onto the nerve to ensure proper placement. The contrast dye helps the doctor see the nerve root in the fluoroscope. A steroid solution is then injected and the needle removed from the patient's back. The steroid solution soothes the effective root and helps reduce inflammation and swelling in the disc bulge.